live at Drake's television studio in the beautiful city of Vallejo comes Night Groove featuring Bay Area local talent. Gospel, spoken word, blues, hip hop, reggae, country, and heavy metal. And here's your host, Daz. Hello and welcome once again to Night Cruise. I'm your host, Daz. And for those of you who may not know, we feature local talented artists. You know, the world is filled with talented artists that may never have the opportunity to showcase their craft. Night Groove gives them that platform, which could be a star in the making. It is my pleasure and privilege to introduce to you Mr. Ron S.L. Matthews, the one and only musician extraordinaire, Ron Matthews. If 
Welcome back. We're on the sit down with Mr. Ron S. L. Matthews. Thank you, brother. Appreciate that. That was a very, very nice set. You Thank you for together. having me. I appreciate you guys asking me to come. So, would you tell uh, people a little bit about yourself? Who Who is Mr. Ron S. L. Matthews? Well, Ron S. L. Matthews. Uh, my mother and father is Julia and Willie Matthews. Uh, born and raised in the Bay Area, uh, All right. San Francisco, Oakland, California. Um, you know, grew up in church. Uh, hanging out with my mom, <laughs> uh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. taking me to church and had me singing in choirs and stuff. And uh, there was a young lady at that time playing piano, Sister Taplin. I remember her name all the way from back. Yeah, when I was gonna never forget her. Huh? Sister Taplin, yeah, <laughs> she was playing piano, and I used to look at her finger. I'm like, wow, that looks amazing. So I kind of really got interested in playing piano by uh, going to the church and sis, uh, looking at Sister Taplin do her thing. All right. Well, yeah. you definitely got some serious licks there, my brother. Oh, thank you, thank you. And um, I do understand the whole church thing. Um, I remember going to church, singing in the choir oh, as yeah. well. Oh, yeah. As, it's a lot of fun. Uh -huh. um, so what are some of the accomplishments that you have done on the way? Ah, well, I've been blessed to be able to uh, travel. I, once I found out that, uh, you know, music can actually take you around the world and oh, yeah. actually be paid for, round trip tickets, room and board, meals, uh, I started working with a, a couple of bands that were working with promotion companies that were sending us to like Japan and Spain. Uh, once I found out that you can travel like that and have wow. all your expenses paid, it was like a great thing. So I started working with cats. We've been overseas, uh, you know, to Spain, uh, Japan, and meeting other people. And uh, coming back here, I had the opportunity to work with some good people. Not no major name acts, but uh, some good people. You'll get there. Oh, yeah, I'm working on, there, working on it. Working on it. There you go. So. Um, your music, how would you describe your music to uh, someone? I like, uh, you know, I was brought up on old school, you know, Parliament, uh, Earth, Wind, and Fire, Ohio Players, Sly Isley Stone, Brothers, you know, Cameo, Isley Brothers, yeah. Cameo, Gap Band, you know, <laughs> all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So my thing is mostly, you know, I like a lot of funk in my life, a little right. smooth jazz because I'm on tour now. Right. You know, a little top 40 dance. So, uh, you yeah, know, I really like you know, the Roger thing, so I, yeah, I picked up me a vocal and started doing me some Roger once he passed. Okay. And really like that. And then the smooth jazz, like I said, I'm on tour now, so I like a lot of chord changes instead of doing songs that are 128 measures of the same groove. Yeah. So mostly a little funk, R&B, neo soul, smooth jazz, light rock kind of thing. Do you incorporate some of your own Original, originals? Most indubitably. Oh, yeah. yeah. As a musician, I would say, as a musician, you should always incorporate your original material. Oh, yeah, man. I, I work with a few bands, man, and Matter of fact, a few bands that had horns, a whole full section, mm -hmm. you know, three horn players, rhythm section, and they were all always doing just top 40. You know, right. another, never doing their own original material, and I could never understand that because right. if you have a, a full band, right. you should be right. wanting to do your own material. Definitely. You know? So another reason why I broke off and started to do my own thing, you know, because a lot of people just want to do one thing, and, right. you know, there's a variety of music, so I try to do it all. There you go. Yeah. Uh, any upcoming shows you want to tell the people about? <laughs> yeah, when I leave up out of here this evening, I got a gig. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, right? I'm on my yeah. way to Sacramento to do a gig over at uh, Valley Green Park. Uh, they, they're they're actually over there kicking it right now. <laughs> it started at 12 o'clock, and it's going to go until about 6 or 7 o'clock tonight. Oh, okay. So uh, I, got I go on at 3 o'clock. So, yeah, I'm a, I got a little something here. And then every, uh, every other Tuesday, mm -hmm. I do the uh, Double Tree Hotel over mm -hmm. in uh, Newark, California, over off of Stevenson. And my next gig over there will be on June 14th and uh, 24th and the 28th. Oh, okay. Yeah, Double Tree in Newark. Double Tree in Newark. Remember that. Yeah. And for more information on Mr. Ron S. L. Matthews, his his email address is at the bottom of the screen. Oh, I like that. So how about another song from you, brother? Oh, most definitely. I'll do one or two for you. Oh, there you go. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Ron S. L. Matthews, musician extraordinaire.
every day of oh, baby. I wish that I could love you right, yeah, in a special way, oh, baby. I stand in, stand in, baby, that. Exciting, yeah, boo. Makes me want to shout. Yeah, I feel so lucky now. Happy all along, oh, baby. I really love the way you love me, yeah. Wherever I'll be, all of yours. I'm standing, standing, baby, love. Hey, we are back with Mr. Serious Lit Teron Matthews. Thank you, brother. That was another, another uh, yes, inspiring. Yes, yes. I'm enjoying right myself there. thoroughly here. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna ask you a few questions, and uh -huh. you know, you just answer off the top of your head. You oh, know, okay. this this little fun thing that Spontaneous. we do. Spontaneous. Yeah. So, um, music to me is fun, relaxing, rewarding. There you go. Um, if there was no music. What would you be doing, you think? Well, you know, I, I did have other plans. There were three things in life I wanted to be, either a musician, a comedian, or a lawyer. Yeah, I understand that. Because coming up, for me, it was, believe it or not, <laughs> I wanted to be a dancer, an RG check, and uh, an athlete. <laughs> no, not a little too too. That's our, that's our executive producer back there behind the scene. You can't see him though, but it's calling out crazy stuff to us. 
But yeah, no, I, I, I understand. I mean, sometimes, you know, um, the path that you think that you want to take, right. you end up, you know, taking a different path, but it turns out to be the right path for you, right path, yeah. you know? I used to uh, watch comedians. I thought really a comedian was just one of the hardest jobs, you know, to get up in front of a bunch of people that you don't know right. and make them laugh. And then, uh, and then once you see that they can accomplish making them laugh, it was like, oh, I want to do that. And then as a, a youngster, I used to watch television, and I used to see Perry Mason. And One of my favorite shows. Oh, yeah, man. I didn't know no better, but I used to watch Perry Mason back in the day. I used to see him break people down on the stand. There you go. <laughs> yeah, Perry was good with that one. Oh, God, I did it. I did it. I said, I won't do that. I want to break them down just like that. <laughs> make them cry. Make them cry. Yeah. Commit, you know? So, yeah, lawyer, uh, musician, and comedian. But I'm enjoying the comedian, I mean, the, the musician life because when I was working a regular job, I used to have to get up at 5 o'clock in the morning right. and be to work for somebody at 6. Right. And I ain't going to lie to you, man. Around 10 o'clock when I get my first break, I was like, man, I sure wish I was still at home in bed. And then after saying on that one. Yeah. I used to know guys that just played music, and I was like, so really, all you do is play music to make your living, pay your bills and everything? They said, yeah. And they said, man, well, the best thing about it, Ron, we get to sleep in. I said, really? You get to sleep in past 10? I said, oh. So I figured I'd try that job. There you go. I wish I could do that one myself. I ain't there just yet, though, but I'm uh, still planning on working on that one. But I understand about the part about sleeping in, though, because basically if if I don't have anything to do that day, especially uh -huh. on Saturday, I'll right. sleep in till like 5 o'clock in the evening. Then I get up. I'm a night owl anyway, though, so things don't jump off of me until 11 o'clock anyway, yeah. though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's just me. Right on, right on. Okay, so we're going to have one more song from Mr. Ron S.L. Matthews. Happily. The one and only musician extraordinaire. How about one more song, Ron? You got it.
back once again with Mr. Ron S.L. Matthew. Dude, that was badass. That was Thank badass. You, I got to let you know about that. Man, look, well, when I heard that uh, Roger had passed, yeah, I know, all man. I could think about doing was, man, I'm not going to be able to go see him live up close and in color no more, so let me see if I can take over some of that stuff he was doing. So yeah, I keep, love Keep that. his spirit live. Yeah, you know? man, you know it. You know. There you go. <laughs> well, I'm going to ask you a question, and I'm going to give you about five to ten seconds to figure out if you know who, who said this statement. Okay. All right. Had I known I was going to live this long, I would have took better care of myself. Five, four. Well, let three. me say this. Let me just say this before about that. You know, I didn't. I didn't really get a lot of black history in school. Mm -hmm. But you know, after I got out of school, I started doing my own black history search. There you go. And is that U B Blakely? There you go. That UB? is correct. U B Blake. Yeah. You know, they got this thing called, for, for all those that might not know, they had this thing called Google on the Internet. And there's some things that you don't know. You might want to go in there and do a little research on some stuff. But what he was talking about, that history thing, you was go. a good thing that I found out on the Google search. So uh, I didn't get black history in school, but I did do my own history lesson. Google keep us going. <laughs> well, that's about all the time we have for the show tonight. I want to thank my music. Extraordinaire, Mr. Ron you, S. Sir. L. Matthew. And, and once again, me. I, I got to tell you, the S. L. stands for Serious Licks, and All the brother right. dude got Serious Licks. So I want to thank you again, once again, brother. Thank you. And uh, good fortunes on your road and your journey. Oh, yes, yes. Thank you for having me. And we will catch you on the night side. Good night, everyone. Experience the Executive Hair Salon. The Executive Hair Salon is located at 345 13th Street in downtown Oakland. We service men and women. Let us taper, fade, shape, or sculpt your hair with the executive touch. We do perms, weaves, colors. We do it all. Our barbers specialize in children, adult, and senior citizens. Call us at 510-625-9111 to make an appointment. Drop-ins are always welcome. Be sure to tell your friends about the Executive Hair Salon. Mention this ad and receive $5 off on haircut and beard trims at the Executive Hair Salon. Miguel Zimbala's Handyman Service serving the entire San Francisco Bay Area. Gutter repair. Interior service. Dry rot. Plumbing. Roof top repair. Serving the San Francisco Bay Area. Give Miguel Zambales a call at 707-337-8567.